Dun 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 Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Silver and welcome back to Darksiders 3. I thought this was a nice place to start recording. Ooh, ah, god, this game is pretty. Do you mind, Mr. Growly, Grouchy Man? I'm trying to record my intro, Jesus. Okay, so I've come across this large tree, which is supposedly called a Maker's Tree. Uh, I remember in the old games, what, 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 or in Darksiders 2, rather, the Makers were basically uh, servants of the Creator, which is, uh, you know, Darksiders' way of saying God, basically. Yeah, the Makers were exactly as they sounded. They were able to create worlds, and they had the tools to make things, basically. So that tree we're heading towards will be a safe refugi where I can get some respite from fighting zombos. Ooh, cutscene. Oh, this motherfucker. Here we are. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, she stabbed him. Oh, she's so pious. I love it. War is too hazardous an occupation for myself, horseman, and perhaps you will consider my wares valuable. Vulgrim Plinth, there he is. Fury can feed collected souls to Vulgrim to earn attribute points. Blah 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 blah. Oh, so he's gonna be the upgrade menu, right? Allowed access to serpent holes, ancient networks of pathways, blah blah blah, yes. Okay, so if you've never played a Darksiders game before, that was Vulgrim. He is the merchant dude where you buy things from. And he always appears in that fashion. What up, my dude? Greetings. Greetings. will be fun for both of us. Uh, yeah, I'll feed you some souls. Bam. Level up. Okay, so he's the level up screen. As well as the merchant. As Neat. Take Show your me your wares. So back in Darksiders 2, there was a more RPG uh, thing to it. You could collect pieces of armor, amulets, weapons, and build your character around that. But it seems in Darksiders 3, they've scrapped that idea. Uh huh. So you can just buy healing items, basically. Chance. Weapon spawns wrath when killing an enemy. Rejuvenation core. Neat. I did like it in Darksiders too, how you could, you know, collect bits of armor and slowly power up your character and stuff, but, you know, whatever. Whatever, dude. Please Serpent holes. Right, so that's like the fast travel network as well. As Neato burrito. Farewell for now, Vulgrim. <laughs> okay, cool, man. Yeah, cool, cool. Let's continue on. Fulgrim and his demon Fulgrim. <laughs> They live to confound and feed of the scraps of a world they help destroy. Yes, they do. they do. But yep. despite his thirst for souls, Volgram may be a useful tool on this journey. He might. He very well might. Okay, um, am I supposed to grapple over there? What's up? Good old handy whip, you're always there for me. Ah! Ah! No, don't you knock me off the edge. No, sir. I suppose I have to fight these dudes. They're not going to let me go in peace. Oops. Ow, my god, there's more of them. Uh, I'm actually still getting used to the combat, guys. Ah! Okay. God damn it. If you could not, like, uh... Man, that healing item I have is quite useful. Screw you guys, I fell off the stupid tree and you all suck. Get out of my face. Uh, uh. Alright, cool. What's this thing? Uh, I believe these are items to collect. Nice. Oh my god. The sunbeams. It's so beautiful. Yeah, stretch it out. Okay, what's in here? Can I not get past the webbing? It appears I cannot. Clearly I need the spider abilities to get past that wall. So supposedly in Darksiders 3, as you progress through the thing, you're supposed to go back to these areas that you've been to, and uh, with new abilities that you acquire later on, you can get to different areas. Indeed, mistress. Indeed, mistress. Yes, of course. All right, uh, let's start. Continue making my way to that tree, I guess. My God, this game is pretty. Just ah, uh, 
Ah, jeez. I love the art style and just everything. Everything. What's uh? I want. I want whatever that is. I like blue floaty things. Okay, let's go get it, shall we? Shall we? Hello, sir. How are you? Whoa! Whoa! You're being super rude right now, guys. I'm really not not a fan of that. Whoa, hello! You jump up to greet me. How nice of you. Ooh, whoa, how did I do that? Okay. Uh, what I really liked about Darksiders 2 is there was aerial combos, so you could, ow, knock dudes into the air and then get... Ah! Thanks. Yeah, knock dudes into the air and then get aerial combos on them, but uh, I'm not sure if you can do that in this game. I hate these dudes with their freaking ranged weapons. Screw you, mate. I really wish I had a secondary attack as well. It appears just to be press X until you win. There is, of course, a different amount of combos and, like, pressing X in different combinations and whatever. What is this thing? Well, I whip it, whatever it is. Whip it real good. I fear nothing. Well, ah, what the hell? Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Shall we? Double jump. Ooh, ah, beautiful. Cinematic slow walk. Oh. Ooh, this looks intense. Hey, buddy. You ruined my cinematic slow walk. Ooh, whatever this is, it looks interesting. Oh my god, there's a human that's actually. Oh, what? Humans that are actually alive? Uh, Hold on a second here. Ooh, I recognize this guy. Oh, yes. A horseman of the apocalypse. Yuri, currently reserving the right to kill you where you stand. And you are? Surprised. I'm more than a little relieved. Call me Ulfane Blackhammer. Ulfane, of course. So you'll not be flattening me today? Hmm. A maker, are you not? Aye, when there's something to make. Today, my skills are only aimed towards instruments of death. This is not your war. No, not theirs neither. Jumies. What are you even fighting for, huh? Tell me! Tell me, Jones. Oh, she gonna murder your ass. Oh, hold damn. I like this one. You may continue breathing, Jones. Horseman, please. To have you on our side would turn the tide in ways we cannot measure. Humanity might stand the chance. While my mission does involve balance, it does not require them. I am here to root out the seven deadly sins and return them to the Council. No less, no more. What if I can help you? That by the chain you carry could use some work. I sincerely doubt that. I'm faring quite well without any help. <sighs> of course. But in case you missed the moniker, I am a maker who specializes in instruments of destruction, chaos, Destruction, chaos, and deliverance of pain. Excellent. I don't know what accent this is. That's that's not what I was going for at all. Rip. If your horsemanship would give me the chance. Horsewomanship. In exchange for humanity will not survive without aid. And remember, Fury. The doors of Haven stand open to any who ask. The Bridgestone. An enchanted stone etched with ancient maker magic. Try saying that 12 times fast. Cool, alrighty. So, ah, I remember these dudes. Yeah, these were the characters from the- say Welcome, horsemen. I say welcome, horsemen. At least I think. Yep. Yep. I don't know. Welcome to Haven. Welcome to Haven. I think I recognize the girl and obviously that guy. These were returning characters from the last game, I think. How can my hammer be of service? How can my hammer be of service? The barbs of scorn. I need silver of adamantine. Right, right. Okay, another another dude. Right. Cool. So, lore and backstory time. In case you haven't played the last game, in Darksiders 2, 
a slight bit of spoilers if you haven't played the game, but um, Death's last act towards the end of the game was to erase War's crime instead of uh, redeeming him. He went to a place called the Well of Souls and he supposedly resurrected humanity. So all of humanity was obviously killed during Armageddon with what all the angels and demons uh, having a murder party here on Earth. And yeah, Death resurrected humanity to hopefully absolve his brother. So I guess that's why some humans are alive again. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's have a look around this little place, shall we? Shall we? What do we got in here? Greatens. Glad I'm not out there anymore. I'm glad I'm not out there anymore. Alrighty, okay. So this is just like, um, the hub area, I suppose. Neat, neat. What's over here? Anything? Nothing? Cool. Hmm. Alright, let's continue, shall we? Dun 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 dun. Oh, it smells like death in here. Dun 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 dun. Trust me. We shared a room a thousand years ago. Ha ha ha, jokes. Alright, secret agent super bitch on the case. Stealthily crawling through the air ducts. Alright, here we go. Uh, after running around this weird tutorial sort of beginning area, getting killed at least a dozen times, I have figured out which is the way to go. Velgrin, get out of my face. Okay, so it looks like we're looking for Wrath. The Nanatsu no Taizai. Uh, what are these things? Let's kill the Beetleborgs. Well, at least they're not those freaking zombie things I've been fighting this whole time. They're super annoying. Alright, cool. Cool. It looks like we're dealing with the bugs. Buggy boys. Uh, where do I go from here? Am I stuck down here? Does this water damage me? I have many questions. Let's go up here. Whoop. And we cross over here. Oh, not these things. There were flying insect creatures like this in Darksiders 1, I'm pretty sure. And they were super irritating. Give me that. Swing! Oh, I got my boots wet. God. Okay, so that's interesting. We don't necessarily have to go down there and kill those guys. Go down there. Ooh, ah. Uh. Nice. I guess those guys are the punishment if you screw up the jump puzzle. Neat, neat. Let's uh, let's go this way. Watcha! Watcha! Ah, uh, almost didn't make it. Okay, nice. Whoa! Hello there, reskinned enemy. This is the classic enemy from Darksiders One. It's gone under many reskins and redesigns, but here he is again, the classic little ghoul guy with jumpy claw attacks. Good lord. Never change, Darksiders, never change. Oh, it's the Beetleborgs! Uh, hold on. Slam! Ground slam that does, like, no damage. Nice. Oh god, there's another one. Oh my god, they do a lot of damage. Wow. Uh, uh, yeah. Screw you, Matt. And I heal myself. Oh. What is that thing? It's throwing shit at me. Ow. Whatever. Hmm. I'm uh, getting a uh, serious bug vibe here. I don't know about you guys, but I think the theme is bugs. The sound of helicopters flying over my house intensifies. Oh, it's so cute! Oh, it's adorable. Now it's eating things. Ha ha ha! You are mine now. Uh, ow! Okay, so I need to throw it a little bit earlier than that. Whoa! What? Oh, okay. Okay, is there like an attack helicopter flying over my ass or something? I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but wow. Okay. Ooh. Being observant is literally in your name, Watcher. That's a big spider. Ah, I remember seeing this in one of the demo videos, or one of the early gameplay things. Ooh, we're in the the abandoned train station. Ooz, ooz, ooz. You think you're hot shit? I'll dodge towards you pointlessly. 
I wish there was that freaking knock up in the air attack for the air combos, because that's like my favorite thing to do. It's not here anymore. Wah! Aha, uh -huh, get arcane dodge, son. And I'm dead. Blah. Oh my god, the save points are absolutely brutal in this game, guys. I'm all the way back in the start. This helicopter must be flying like five foot above my house because I'm not even kidding when I say my curtain and my door are vibrating because this helicopter, what the fuck. Alrighty then guys, I think that'll about do it for this Darksiders 2 video. I'm Three! Darksiders 3, excuse me. I'm gonna continue uh, just a little bit further, maybe get to the next boss. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching everybody. I'm enjoying the heck out of this game. Let me know if you guys are enjoying it too. The last video didn't do so well. Maybe I should just stick to Destiny content. <laughs> oh well, whatever, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Bye!